Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our Vendasta weekly webinar. Thanks so much for joining today. My name is Erica. I'm a product marketing manager here at Vendasta. I work on our listings products uh, like Listing Builder, Listing Distribution, Listing Sync Pro, and Listing Sync Pro powered by Yext and Advertising Intelligence. And then I'm also joined by Diego, who's the product manager for both of these products as well. We love getting the questions from all of you and we're more than happy to answer. So if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please share them in the question box and we'll answer them at the end of the session. So today we're going to be showing you our newest feature addition to Listing Sync Pro powered by Yext, which is access to the Yext dashboard. This webinar is going to be super short and sweet, but this is really exciting because we're really excited about this release and I think that you guys will be too. So in case uh, any of our attendees are not sure what Listing Sync Pro powered by Yext is, I just have a quick little overview uh, in case you aren't familiar with it. Listing Sync Pro powered by Yext basically gives you one dashboard where you can control how your clients' business and their business information appears across the web. All within that dashboard, you can instantly create and update listings across a number of sites. It also puts you and your client in control of their online brand by preventing any kind of third party changes. So on April 10th, we launched the access to the X dashboard. So just yesterday morning through Listing Sync Pro powered by Yext. And basically the reasoning behind this was because our partners were saying they wanted more integration with Yext, namely access to the Yext dashboards and some of the features that were available inside the Yext dashboard. So some of the access features to actually get to the dashboard, uh, you start in Partner Center and Marketplace. When you go to your Discover products and into the Listing Sync Pro Yext, uh, product, you can see the Yex dashboard and we've got a little visual in the corner there where there's the link to the Yex dashboard. There's also two-way syndication between the Yex dashboard and Listing Sync Pro powered by Yex. So basically that means if anything is changed uh, within the Yex dashboard, say you change some business information, that's going to be reflected in Listing Sync Pro powered by Yex and vice versa. So anything that you change within the two products will be reflected in the other uh, dashboard. You have the ability to suppress duplicate listings and then there's also additional analytics that are available through the Yext dashboard and Diego is going to take you through some of that and what features are available there. And Diego is going to take it away with a quick demo. Perfect. Hello everybody, my name is Diego, I'm a product manager for our listings offering. And I'm happy to walk you through this very exciting release that we just launched yesterday in the morning to be more precise. So let's tell a quick story. I am a channel partner and I am in partner center by going to marketplace, discover products and selecting any of the Yext SKUs that you're selling either monthly or yearly, I get access to the product page. And as you can see here, there is a new option that takes me to the Yext dashboard. Uh, when you hover, that button before you click on it, you can see that there are some restrictions that apply in terms of which fields sync and which fields don't sync. So if you just scroll down to the FAQ, we explain a little bit that most of those fields uh, should sync. And there is a link to our article, which should tell you everything you need to know. So basically a quick walkthrough, very similar to what we will be doing today, how you can get that access and also the fields that should be syncing. So without further ado, let's just click on it. I am a, an LSP X reseller. I enabled that add-on on Listing Builder, so I will click on EX dashboard. Please note that this action will be visible and it will be working for partner center admins. So that means that as of this moment, we still don't give access to SMBs to your customers to Yext. It's a channel partner only feature for the time being that will allow you to get more analytics 
fix duplicates and uh, get a bird's eye view of your listings on X, which is also possible in our platform. As you can see here, I have a few locations and this is a demo account. And uh, let's pick one of them. So as an LSPEX reseller, I will see in that page all the accounts that either had LSPX in the past or accounts that currently have LSPX active, either monthly or yearly. So by selecting one of those active accounts, for instance, I can visualize the business profile for that location, which should be fairly similar overall to the one we have at the Vindasa platform. And uh, as you can see here, many of those fields are, they just exist in both places, right? So part of that integration is the ability for you as a partner to make changes to many of those fields, the ones we refer to in the article, and having that information flowing back to the business profile in Vindasta. So for instance, let's just make a change to the phone number. So let's just include here four zeros. Perfect. So when I go to that profile in Partner Center for my customer, uh, I was seeing the old phone number. If I just refresh it, I can visualize now the new phone number. So as I mentioned before, for many of those fields in both business profiles, there is a two-way sync in place. It's worth mentioning that the business category on Yext is read-only and uh, you have to set up the category at the DASTA, but the main fields aside from that will be syncing in a two-way manner between the two profiles. So, okay, we have two-way sync. Uh, something that I can also show to you guys is the ability to get the YAX analytics. We do have the exact report, which is a powerful tool for your customers to see what's going on across all products you sell. But uh, we also now have the ability to give you partner access to the X analytics, where you can visualize, for instance, the location map, the attribute changes, an overview of your listings, so how many listings went live as a partner across all your locations that have LSPX active, and so on. The views, interactions with those listings across all of those sources we support as part of LSPX and more. So you can get access to those analytics right now as a reseller if you have LSPX enabled. And uh, you can also export that to a PDF and share with your customer. That's one of the key features of that integration. You also have the ability to fix duplicate listings. So that's something that many of our channel partners have been asking for. And now it's a feature that's available. Uh, you can just go to listings and then duplicates. There'll be a disclaimer here explaining how the mechanism works. Uh, it's basically a tool that helps you out to ensure that you have one listing, one source of truth across all your directories and sources that uh, you are uh, available. So for instance, let's pick one of my customers, the location I was using for the demo. As you can see here, I have two possible duplicates and now I have the option to suppress or just to say, ignore, it's not a duplicate. It shouldn't be alarming here every time I come here. So that ensures that helps you out with having one profile that looks accurate the way you expect. Another feature that's available on the EX dashboard is the publisher suggestions. Some of the sources supported by LSPX allow uh, users, the general public, to suggest changes to the profile. So for instance, someone can go to your profile on source X and then they can just update the hours of operation, but that update won't flow through until you approve here. So it's, it's more uh, some sort of mechanism that helps you to create your business profile and to keep it up to date. So uh, as you can see here, there are many powerful features in the EX Listings dashboard. Another one would be the same bird's eye view that you have in Listing Builder as a product. So if I just filter here, let's say that I am looking for all my listings for that specific customer. I can see here that I have 63 sources and uh, most of them are live or submitted in the case of the GPS and the apps ones. Um, and then we can keep moving forward here. Uh, we have data around which sources are unavailable, you couldn't sync and so on. 
the same level of reporting you get here should be the reporting you get when you go to the product. So uh, if I just open Listing Builder, either as a channel partner or an SMB, and go to Listing Sync, I should see the same level of reporting and uh, a very similar view of your sources. Some of the sources here require you to connect to Google, Facebook, or Twitter, but all the other ones, if you're talking about an LSP X account, should come from EX. And we also have, just a reminder, the exact report. So your customers in Business Center can also get a bird's eye view of what's syncing, what's not from here. And that should be fairly solid and consistent with what you get on EX. Perfect. Thank you, Diego, for that demo. All right. So now we're going to move it along to any uh, questions that our attendees might have. We've actually got one up right here. Um, so I'll read out the question and then Diego will answer for us. So we've got one question right now from Steve. Uh, he asks, what is the main difference between Yext Listing Sync Pro and your previous Listing Sync Pro? Also, do we get access to the dashboard once we sell Yext Listing Sync Pro to a customer, or is Vendasta charging the partners outside of the $300 fee? Perfect. The main difference between regular Listing Sync Pro powered by Vendasta and Listing Sync Pro powered by Yext comes down to the sources that are available. By going in Partner Center to the product page for both types of LSP, you will see an attached file so you can see here files, LSPX sources. And then we mentioned which ones are supported by each offering. So it really comes down to the type of customer you work with. For most of our partners who are already selling LSP marketplace, you have the option to choose. So, hey, I have two customers in the US. I can sell LSP powered by Vindasa to one of them and I can sell LSPX to the other one. So that really comes down to your needs and also to the verticals you're working with, one or the other may work better depending on the case. Uh, to your second question, do we also get access to the dashboard once we sell EX to a customer? Uh, yes, so basically that option will be visible and to any partner center that means who have enabled Listing Builder with Listing Sync Pro EX. And when you click on it, it will show all the accounts that you have active in terms of LSPX or you had active in the past but didn't renew. So from there, you can get access to all the analytics and all the features we demoed. Um, you also asked, uh, is Vindasi charging the partners outside of the 300 fee? That's the, uh, I think you're talking about the pricing point for the yearly version of EX. We also sell that on a monthly basis uh, without requiring the, the yearly commitment, which is a brand new thing. Uh, you can just activate that, for instance, for seven months. Uh, by activating the yearly option, this should be uh, a more, it should be the same product, but it just paid up front, basically. And uh, it will come down to the business model you work with, if you're charging your SMB the same way, or if you're charging them on a month per month basis. All right, next question is from Dave. Can all of the data be downloaded for multiple accounts, edited, and then uploaded? So when you go to the EX dashboard and you select the option analytics, you have a feature that allows you to export that to a PDF. And that's something you can share with your customer. So you have a few options here. Uh, you can download a PDF or you can just email or share a link. Um, there is no option to export to a CSV, for instance, neither on the EX dashboard nor on Listing Builder, where you have the partner in the SMB facing version of that. But uh, you are able to add your customers to Business Center and they can get access to that data on a live manner, right? So by logging to Business Center and selecting Listing Builder, they can get access to the same level of reporting in terms of which sources are accurate, which ones are not, which ones are syncing, which ones are not syncing. And uh, aside from having that visualization here, which is live, they can also receive the exact report every week or month on their email without having to sign in. So they will get an email if you selected, for instance, the option to provide your executive report every week. They will get an email 
that's white labeled with an option, check your data. You got X new listings found on, on the system, for instance. When you click on it, your, SM, your SMB gets access at the same time to that data without having to sign in. So there are multiple ways of looking to that data, but no option to export to a CSV, for instance. All right. Well, it looks like we're all good to go here. Yeah, like Diego said, and I said, we're really excited about this release and all of the features that are coming with it that our partners will have access to. Uh, so with that, if you have any more questions, our success on demand team is always willing to help out if you think of questions later. And uh, with that, we'll sign off and everybody have a great day.